Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar, I'm Jed Morgan, and today's video is supposed to be a review of The Witcher Blood Origin, but that project just got way bigger than I had predicted because of how poorly written that show is and how much of a travesty it is. It is far worse than I imagined, and it needs a dissection more than I imagined, so I've got to spend a little bit more time getting that review ready for you all, but if you want to know my thoughts, I will be live in a couple hours from the release of this video on my channel with a review panel, and my actual video form review will be coming out tomorrow as well. But before we talk about that, I just want to get out of the way some of the backlash that has been happening around the show from Rotten Tomatoes, the user standing up to some other sites and some more information that we have. It's just some some gold that we've got here. We've got some gold and the Rotten Tomato score for users is at 8%. When I first saw this, it was at 13 and I thought that was bad enough, but it's down to eight. Every hour it is getting lower and lower and justifiably so. It is legitimately like the worst show I've ever seen, the worst show in my entire life. And I've actually surprised that the critics were allowed to have such a negative review on it because as soon as that 38 percent came out i knew how bad it was really going to be because they always hype things up they always try to make things better when it's with those big studios that they have an approved narrative surrounding but i just want to see a couple of these because oh boy just terrible i genuinely went into it with an open mind hoping it wasn't as bad as people are saying but this borders on unwatchable if they cut the number of episodes from six to four i generally wonder what ended up on the cutting room floor avoid that's someone who wanted this to be good and said it was a travesty avoid this if you are a fan of the witcher i'm a massive fan and i can support that 100 percent. and i say that to anyone who's not even a fan of it it's just that bad i ate spicy ramen and ribeye steak last night and i stared at my bowel movement in the morning it was still infinitely better than watching the witcher blood origins jesus christ had much expectations after seeing first two seasons and the animated film but it was a horrible experience so that's someone who even likes season two and they thought this was the disaster. It's just a uniting factor. People who liked the main Witcher show, people who didn't like the main Witcher show, people who liked the anime, every section of anybody who's involved with the Witcher franchise who's ever interacted with it, they're all united in saying it is horrendous. I just want to see if I can get a review that's above a two. Can I, ooh, I got a two. It was okay. If season three of the Witcher is like this, it will be canceled. All right, two, it's a higher score than that description should imply all right three stars the characters were not fleshed out well um no they weren't they were not actual characters none of them had story arcs or you know justifiable motivations and the story felt rushed they could have taken more time to add more detail to the characters for example one of the characters got seriously injured it was hard to feel for the character because the plot did not provide a strong enough connection absolutely true finally the show did not bring much new things to the table in fact i am left with more questions than answers that is not a three out of five review that is much lower than that. So yeah, all the positive reviews I can find are just artificially inflated where the descriptions do not match the words that are actually being said. If people actually gave the star reviews that made sense, the entire score would be even lower than eight. Ooh, we've got a 3.5. It was entertaining enough, especially if you've got everything you know about the Witcher universe and story. It's not even consistent within itself. I'll break that down in my review coming out later, but... That, that's what we got. This is the best review I could find, and it's still like a forget everything you know about The Witcher. That's how bad this travesty of a show has become. People are rejecting it entirely, and I am here for it. I'm just sitting back and laughing because I predicted this all way back when the show was just originally announced. I've been one of the main people since Witcher Season 2 who have been fighting this fight against Netflix's Witcher show and their other series. And I've been called crazy. I've been called a madman. I am finally justified. As Ray Surface would say, Fuck you, I was right. And we have another piece of information coming out about Witcher Season 3 from one of the writers, Matt DeBrazio. And he's really said some crazy stuff on Twitter before, such as, you know, attacking Bo DeMeo and other people. He's just really not a good person. But he included this script from Season 3. And if there's one thing I'm definitely going to do, it's going to put all my queer trauma into every single thing that I write. We're going to get some... 2022 queer trauma everybody in our medieval fantasy oh can't wait for that can't wait for that doesn't matter if it doesn't fit doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense within the world or the universe that's what we're gonna get that's what we have to look forward to what your season three is going to be dead on arrival even with Henry Cavill still being involved. As I've said for a while now, whether or not Henry Cavill left the show, there was a firm expiration date already on this franchise, and him leaving only moved it up a little bit because Blood Origin, Witcher Season 2, whatever the disaster Season 3 is going to be, is just going to prove to, without a doubt that this show is dead and they will kill it soon after all this releases. I just 
finally glad that people are seeing what I've been seeing for a very, very long time now. And if Henry Campbell had seen Blood Origin, it is more than enough motivation for him to leave the franchise forever. And if he knew this was going to be in Witcher Season 3, this is more than enough reason to leave the franchise forever. But not everyone has a united opinion on it. Not everyone thinks it's bad. We've got The Guardian, who thinks it's the bestest thing ever. It's fantasy is a riot everybody it's like diverse and this is the only expression she has in the entire snow oh wow but yeah they 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 loved it they gave it a four out of five see some people like it some people like diversity and inclusion the tv show the woke the wokest of woke shit i've ever seen so i just had to put it out there somebody did like it you know this dude liked it for some reason and as i always like to check in with these videos hasn't done it in a while I check in the petition, it is nearly at 300,000. I was kind of hoping that Blood Origin would push it over that mark, still might soon, but it's just getting higher and higher. Again, these don't actually do anything, but it's still kind of cool to see this many people united against the travesty that is the Witcher Blood Origin and the Witcher Netflix franchise. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. Hey, yo, are you feeling what I'm doing up in here? Oh, I know you are. Do you miss all the good, compelling stories that we used to get back in Hollywood that they ain't putting down no more? Yo, oh, I know you missing it. So check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues, baby. Book one, Down in Flames. Book two, Apocalypse Then. These are currently on sale. What are you waiting for? Get your hands on them. And we got book three, Kill the Dark. It's coming down the pipeline. Just wait for all the good stuff that's dropping. You ain't gonna be disappointed, fam.